How's it going, folks? This is Mike, Gray1951, and it's uh, after 2 in the morning, and I'm my usual insomniac self here. And I was, um, I've been thinking about doing this video for about a week now, I to talk about something, to talk about music a little bit, music collecting, which I don't do very often. This past week, I was packing things up for a garage sale, not my garage sale, but a community garage sale for the local Humane Society. Very good cause. So I was going through closets and I was digging stuff out, stuff that I don't need. Ended up giving away quite a few books, uh, some DVDs that I had duplicates of, and, and various other items. And I had I had a drawer had had a drawer filled with audio cassettes that I haven't played in years. Mainly because I have three tape decks in this house. None of them work. So I haven't been able to play them. I, uh, I'll show you the box here. It's not a huge box. It's not really a huge collection, but here's here's most of them here. And I also have. I didn't include in this box the ones. These all all the ones that you know commercial cassettes that I bought in stores and all that. But I have a, another huge collection of compilation tapes that I made myself going back way way to the mid '70s. And uh, I decided nobody would want those, so those are uh, buried someplace. Anyway, so when it came to the point of actually picking this box up and carrying it to the car to take it to the sale, I just couldn't do it. I don't know why. I don't know what it is about me and probably a lot of you out there. When it comes, when it comes down to getting rid of stuff that you, you think you might want someday or you just can't let go of, I mean, it's just impossible. So I thought I would just think about it for a while. And I'm still thinking about it. And it's crazy to keep them because I, ha I have no way to play them. And uh, I did something else I discovered. I knew I had this, but I just hadn't used it for many, many years. I do have one tape player that was working. It's this, this tape thing, tape deck. No, it's not a tape deck. <clears throat> Little tape recorder. Uh, it's realistic. Can you see the brand name there? It's a realistic. I bought this back, I think, 1974 to use when I was going to school so I could make study notes, you know, and all that sort of thing, and used it for a long time, and when it no longer had a function, I just stuffed it in a closet somewhere, and I never got rid of it for some reason. Every once in a while, I would I would pile things up around it, and I would forget that I owned it. And uh, anyway, so when I was playing around with this box of cassettes, I wanted to see if this stupid thing still worked, so I plugged it in, and it did. I mean, the sound wasn't very good, but it actually played, and I was, um, I don't know, kind of intrigued by it. And then, just a while ago, when I was kind of setting things up to play this video, I decided to try it again. I put in this uh, cassette, Jefferson Airplane, no, Jefferson Starship, Red Octopus, and it, it played for a few seconds, and then there was this horrible sound. And then this happened. This is what happened to the actual cassette. So I guess I no longer have any tape players in the house at work. And I'm trying to decide what to do with all this stuff. It's crazy to keep it. So let me show you some of the stuff that I have, which uh, we just can't seem to part with. And some of the, I've got some interesting things here. For example, here is Jerry Mulligan. Rebirth of the Cool. Good jazz tape. I really like this. I would like to be able to play this again. Um, Joe Stafford, Greatest Hits. Oh, my God. Okay. Janet Jackson, Rhythm Nation. Um, Liza Minnelli, Gentle. Gently, yeah. Uh, Chopin. What else do we have here? We have... Oh, my God. Um... More Jazz by Steps Ahead. Um, Blind Melon. Lisa Stansfield. And uh, here is something by Sergio Mendes, Brazil 66. Okay. Hang on, folks. More stuff. More stuff. Okay. Oh, huh. oh, here's, oh here's a good one. This is something called... Stop Worrying and Start Living. Listen and Learn Cassettes. I don't think that helped very much. I'm sure I played that, but it didn't really help. Here's something called 
Ah, pure disco. Okay. Natalie Cole, Unforgettable. Unforgettable. Soundtrack to American Graffiti. We all need that. There's something called Dream Spiral. Hilary Stagg, Electric Harp. Oh my gosh. Oh. Why? Why am I keeping these? Tell me. Come on. Oh, here's one by um, Fish. The only thing I have by them. What the hell is it called? Fish. Oh, it's too, the printing's too small. I can't see it. Here's something. Here's rave music. Uh, someone called a diva. I can't remember who in the hell that is. Here's something by um, John Mayall. Love John Mayall. Bear Wires. Here's the uh, Gregorian chant cassette, which I like. And here is one of my absolute favorite jazz albums of all time. This is Stolen Moments by Lee Rittenauer. I love that tape. I played that to death. I bet that doesn't even work anymore, but I would like, sure would like to find out. Another one of my favorite jazz players, John Abercrombie, Animato, Animato. Um, More Lee Rittenauer. Ah, Westbound. Lee Rittenauer, Westbound. Color Writ by Lee Rittenauer. Ah, here's one I like. Here's a great singer from the 80s, Angela Winbush. The album is called Sharp, and she sings a beautiful song on here called Angel, which I won't try to sing because I can't. Here's something by Chaka Khan where she's looking like a tree. Oh, don't ask me why she's doing that. Um, John Abercrombie works. Sorry for that glare. It's always a glare when I'm doing this. Diane Shore, great jazz singer. Uh, more, yet more Lisa Stansfield. I must have gone through a Lisa Stansfield period or something. Okay, here we go. Buddy Holly, greatest hits. Can I get rid of these? Should I? Stan Getz, Ballads. Mozart. Ha! I don't know who the hell that is. Who is that? That is Tony Williams, Native Heart. Okay. Oh my God. Lisa Stansfield. Are there any Lisa Stansfield freaks out there? Hmm. And we have the soundtrack to. When Harry Met Sally, Great Ladies of Jazz, Diane Shore in Tribute, uh, The House Sound of London, oh my god, here's something by, um, this is falling apart, The Rippingtons, that package is actually, that package is falling apart. Um, Soul to Soul, Bizarre Incorporated, I have no idea what that sounds like, I cannot remember, 60s Party Rock, okay, anyway, Acoustic Alchemy, um, ah, here you go, Julie London, Cry Me a River, anyway, okay, so I've got all this stuff, it's, all this stuff has been piling up around me, and I keep thinking that I need to start you know, unloading, and every time I do, um, Jackson Brown, Looking East. Every time I try to do that, I just, uh, I don't know, I feel like my hands are tied. I know I'm a hoarder now, it, it's, it's true, but, so, okay. So what do you guys think I should do? I'm gonna hear from somebody in the cassette community who can tell me if, uh, I should keep this stuff around until I'm 97 years old, or if I should try and extricate myself from some of this stuff. Wouldn't Marsalis? Here's, here's a two cassette set called Dance Blitz 98. Uh, <clears throat> okay, here we go. <laughs> Greatest is a Bach. Well, happy days of rock and roll. Okay, 
I don't know why I'm doing this. Uh, I just seem to have this feverish need to make videos lately, and I just keep doing one after the other. And uh, it's probably kind of crazy, but this is what happens when I stay up late at night. But anyway, say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. Comments are welcome.